Hello everyone, hope you are all doing great. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to address one of the queries that our subscribers have asked for video about swing short term trading. Basically, this query is like two questions. One is this one. The other one is what to look for in a fundamentals of a stock. Okay, so this is a separate question, which I will put a separate video. But for now, we will focus on the first portion of the query, which is about short term trading. Just in case, if you are new to this channel, my name is Manoj and you are watching Trend Following. Now let's address what is swing trading. I have several examples to show you, but before we get to that point, let us see what is swing trading. Swing trading is something where you actually buy a stock that is trading in a range bound. You buy at the lows, try to sell at the resistance when the stock comes there and then wait for the stock to come back again to the same support zone, take a position when it goes up try to sell, do it several times and you will make maybe 30-40% in a year. This is a textbook definition. But in reality, it will not work like this. What will happen? Sometimes when the stock fall, it will only fall to this point, not this point. It will come to this point, it will start to reverse. When it reverses, it will not come to this point and reverse. It will go up 5 more percent, it will start to reverse from here. When it comes down on the next leg, it will come down here, not here. Then once after this, this liquidity is taken, it will start to reverse here. So eventually speaking, swing trading is one of the hardest strategies to employ. Even though it looks easy on textbook, looks easy by definition, this is really hard to really deploy on a longer run. Okay, that is very important. Eventually, you have to be profitable over a period of time. It's not, it should not be like a beginner's luck where you take first the first three trades, they will make you money. You will think that your strategy will work, scale up your operations, put in more money and then the losses will start to show up. You trade more to cover up the losses, eventually losing your principal and blow up your account. That is how most people will lose money. Okay, so this is very hard strategy. Now let's go to the examples and see how we can figure out how to do swing trading. Okay, okay. now let's take this company for example. The company's name is Sentenka. Please don't do any buy or sell based on this video. I have taken this company only to explain you about the swing strategy because it has proper resistance and proper support. Let us say a swing trader is trading the stock in 2009 after the Lehman crisis, where he will buy the company he is going to buy somewhere here after it has taken the bottom and when it reverses, he is going to buy here, which is around 120, 130. In the next two years, in the next two years, what is going to happen? Where is going to exit he is going to exit at the resistance, which is here. That is around 300 rupees. From 120 to 300, that is the first swing that he has taken. Let's suppose for calculation purpose, he invested 1.2 lakhs. Now he has made 3 lakhs. The first question, this is Lehman crisis, right? What are the other companies that went up more than this much? Let's suppose he has invested 1.2 in some other company and that could have made 10x because stocks were flying after the Lehman crisis was over, market was booming opportunity cost of money. Money invested in this company is money not invested into some other company. Now, let us say at this point, he has 3 lakhs. What will be his thinking next? He is most likely going to chase the next company to do the swing trading. And this is where the most traders will lose. The first trade, right? The first trade that converts 1.2 lakhs to 3 lakhs is called as a beginner's luck. When you enter any market, even if you enter casino, the first few days you will always win. That is because the probability will be in your favor for the first few days. If you don't follow your rules and if you start to break your rules, that is where the probability will start to shift towards the casino and you will start to slowly lose money. Let us say if he is taking this 3 lakhs and he is forcing himself into another company which is in the downtrend, right? Let's suppose he is trying to catch another company which is in downtrend, he is trying, trying to buy here and it is further falling. What he is going to do? The value is going to go down, he is going to trade more to come back to this value. Let's suppose now the value is like 2.5 lakhs. He is going to trade more, breaking his own rules to come back to 3. That is the reason why I always say markets remembers the past and tries to predict the future. You are trying to remember all the numbers that happened in the past. Okay, This is where most traders will lose money. Now, the next barrier for a successful swing trading strategy to do over a long period of time is the waiting point. Let's 
let's suppose this leg is successful right when did the next leg happen now you exit here you wait for the stock to come back to the support the next leg came around 2013 the same swing strategy trader is going to take the position and if he is not patient like me he is going to exit somewhere here if he is patient then what what will be the waiting period from 2012 to 2016 is all about waiting period so almost 4 years you waited for the stock to go up it did not go up wait 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 meanwhile there are some other stocks that have went up somewhere several fold you have lost all the money this is an unrealized loss this will not be appearing in your books but the problem is your investment could have made some returns somewhere all right so this is a unrealized loss which is not showing in your books that you need to keep in mind now let us say he waited from here let's suppose for example he has taken somewhere here he waited till here the stock started to move up to which point he is going to sell he is going to sell at this point this is again 350 now my point is from here to here okay you bought at 120 right you sold at 300 then again you bought at 159 150 you sold at 350 over a period of 10 years your 1.2 lakhs has become about 4 lakhs if you catch all the lows and highs at the proper time you need to be very very sharp on the timing then you need to size your position you should have the patience to wait at the same time you need to also keep in mind that the stock can break down this point right if this this point is broken stop loss is obviously hit you need to exit so all these things if it goes in your way your 1.2 lakhs will become 4 or best case 5 on top of that this was in congress period there was no tax right now we have taxes if you sell your holdings you are going to pay 10% tax if it is ltcg and then if it is stcg short term if you sell below 365 days you are going to pay 15% tax that will reduce your 4 lakh return to worst case 3 lakh all these things you are just double the money meanwhile some other stock have given multiple returns this is the second challenge the third challenge okay once you do this several times let me clean this up once you do this several times your mind is automatically programmed to catch only these resistance it will not think beyond that okay so let's suppose when the stock goes up like this you are automatically exiting at this point it can go like this and even it can make several fold even 10x 20x the stock can make but your brain is eventually programmed only until this point which is a big psychological disadvantage to explain this i'm going to show you the next chart what you see on the screen is rec chart okay let us suppose let's consider myself okay i'm trading this stock i buy the first buy will be here the second buy will be here i will try to exit here okay i exited here then i wait for the stock to come back to the same point i buy here i exited here then i wait for the stock to come back to the same point i buy here the stock did not come to this point it only came to this point i waited 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 but the only good thing is the company gave good dividends okay i collected dividends waited it came back to this point if i had money i averaged then i waited for this point to sell it did not come i waited 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 then one fine day what happened the stock came down to this point all right i bought here i bought here and i sold here my brain cannot think beyond 150 what happened next rec eventually broke out the trend it went to 500 600 now right my brain is not thinking beyond this point that is also the third biggest disadvantage in trading swing strategies okay let me repeat it again first one it's not clean like textbook second one timing is very difficult you don't know your waiting period the third one your brain is programmed only to catch the previous resistance your brain is not fragile to think beyond that similar to this one the next one that i want to show you is tata motors let me change the script to tata motors okay tata motors is also same thing okay your brain if you let's suppose you are training this right you are not capable of thinking beyond this range and you are not capable of thinking beyond this range you are not capable beyond thinking about this range and you are not capable beyond thinking about this range if you look into the support and resistance if you try to take the swing once it breaks out at all time high it's going to go several fold from there okay so that is why i don't encourage swing trading in stock do i do swing trading of course i do but where i do it in fno where there is a lot of potential to make a lot of money i'm going to show you that also two days back i posted a video why nifty it index has been completely bottomed out i'll leave the link in the description it has proper data it has proper uh, candlestick patterns you can go and check out you will learn many things from that video 
based out of that video i have taken several puts on it index companies coforge i sold 4500 puts ltts i sold 4500 puts persistent i sold 3500 puts this is a classic swing trading strategy but i have not done it on cash now let's see the charts first this is persistent persistent what has happened it has moved up then it has fallen down taken the support around here now it is going to go up the trade i did on this date perfectly picked up the bottom now what is my profit my profit is actually the premium that i have collected what is going to happen it is going to come back to this point and then do a sideways move and then go up now what are my advantages in doing this that is the first question first thing i don't have to worry about the swing right now i know i captured the bottom it can close here close here close here anywhere my premium that i collected is going to go to zero i don't have to worry about where it is going to go on the upside or downside as long as it does not hits the downside i am okay now the third thing i don't have to worry about where my actual resistance is going to come if it trends that is also fine all three shortcomings have been addressed in one go okay that is the reason now let's take for example ltts ltts also bottomed out let's take the ltts chart i sold the 4500 puts at 150 rupees if you look at it see this is a classic pattern taken the support went up and then now it's coming down taken the same area where it earlier hit the resistance now i know this is the support instead of trading it in cash i don't know when it will go up i don't know where to exit i don't know how to profit book worrying about all these things just went and sold the puts puts at what price i have sold i have sold at 145 rupees now i know all 145 rupees is my maximum profit that i'll be making in ltts similarly asian pains see this is also swing trading what i have done the moment it has fallen to this range i have taken a small put position right this is the support zone now it will go up we don't know when it is going to go up how much it is going to go up. there are several other competitors entering into the paint area in order to reduce all this outside risk simply i went and sold the puts so this is also one of the classic swing trading strategy all right so if you are trading it in cash there are a lot of shortcomings that is going to work against your psychology so end of the day it is going to be a psychological game more than swing trading strategy if you are trading in options it is going to be a bit easy also remember the fact that i have sold i have sold the puts so time is my friend here if you don't have the capital and margin to do option selling you have to do the buying buying is a different ball game basically you have to wait and capture the right up move which um, which is very difficult right so you have to be very careful if you are focusing on selling it is easy you can make a lot of money in selling puts and calls on the resistance and support you, you will easily make a lot of money right but if you are buying it's a different ball game you need to keep the theta in mind the stock has to go up fast within a certain period of time only then you will be able to make money in buying all right that's it for this video i hope you enjoy the video the next video i'm going to cover is how to actually differentiate a good investment stock from a swing trading stock i'll meet you again take care and bye bye